Let's take a few minutes to take a look at projects and timing. Projects are really the destination of that time tracking you're doing with timing. The idea of tracking your time is to figure out what projects you're spending the most time on. And by setting up projects, you give timing a way to give you exactly that information. You see a lot of information about timing projects in the overview screen. In the right pane on the upper quadrant, you'll see a list of time spent per project by hour. And you can see all these colors will coordinate to specific projects on your list. Uh, also in that lower pane, you can see the projects and tasks and a nice pie chart. I really like this view. It allows me as the day goes forward to see if I'm getting the balance of my time right between the various things I'm working on. Now let's talk about organizing and creating projects. You do that in the review tab for timing and you'll see a list of your projects right here in this left pane. And you can see the current assignment of time between those projects. To begin with, you can just organize these projects by tapping and holding and dragging them. So I'm gonna move the office project down to below writing. You can create sub projects simply by dragging it uh, into another project. For instance, if office is a sub project of development, I'm gonna just drag it in on top of development like that. You let go and you can see now it's a sub project and developments turned into a folder. You can have multiple sub projects under any project uh, that allows you to track time on the whole for everything related to that single project. You can also create new projects. To do that, you just tap on the plus button here and it opens this window to create a new project. So let's set up a new project. I'm going to give this one the name of video games. And let's go ahead and pick a color for it. I like this green right here. And then we need to give it a productivity rating. Timing measures your productivity by averaging the productivity scores you assign to each project weighted with the time spent on that project. Uh, in this case, it's video gaming, so normally we drag it down here in the unproductive category. But in this case, we're gonna say that we're game developers and spending time with video games helps us beta test our games and maybe even evaluate the industry. So that's a high productivity score. Next thing we need to do is give it a keyword. And this is optional, but I like putting keywords in. Uh, let's say our games are gonna be platformer games. So I'm gonna put platform as a word in here uh, because there's a lot of platform video games. We're gonna be looking at websites related to those. And let's go ahead and auto sort all that information right into this video game project. Uh, you can go even further with the rule editor. And the rule editor down here is one of my favorite features in timing because it's just so powerful. You can set very complex rules here, like you can set cr criteria, whether it's any, all, or none. In this case, we're going to select all because I want both rules I'm going to create to apply before the rule kicks in. Number one is it has a keyword platform and uh, it's on the website of, let's say, nintendo.com. So now we have a rule that's gonna look for the keyword platform and time you spend on nintendo.com. And if it satisfies both of those criteria, because we checked all, then it's going to add it to the video game. And that is really useful. So I'll go ahead now and save that project. You can do it right here with this button or hit command return. And now we've got video games here. And then just for giggles, I'm going to move it into games since it is a sub project of games. And let's assign some time. Let's say that we spent some time on YouTube, studying games on YouTube. So I'll put that there. And also we spent some time researching it on the web. So now I've assigned some time to video games. Let's go see the results in the overview. And when I do that, you'll see that there are several uh, blocks of time here that have that green color for the video game project. And even if we go down and look at the day summary, uh, we spent 16% of our time working on video games. Projects are really the big payoff for timing. Spend some time setting them up exactly how you want. Get those rules installed so timing can automatically categorize it for you. And then you can really reap the rewards of having automatic time tracking with timing.